station, this is Houston. Are you ready for the event? We're ready for the event. Fox News Edge, this is Mission Control Houston. Please call station for a voice check. Station, this is Allison Conklin with Fox News Edge. Can you hear me? Hey, Allison, we have you loud and clear. Awesome. Hi, guys. How are you? Uh, we're doing great. Thanks. It's a great, we had a great week and uh, looking forward to the weekend. Do you actually have weekends? Like, do you take time off when you're up there? Yeah, we get a little time on the weekends to have free time. Usually on Saturday mornings, we'll do kind of house cleaning up here. And then after that, Saturday afternoon is free and Sunday is generally free as well. So what's a, a, a typical day like for you? Do you wake up? Do you do exercises? Do you have meals at certain times of the day? Actually, we all kind of have different schedules because we have only limited number of exercise hardware and we spend each of us about two and a half hours exercising a day. And so the schedulers have this big challenge of juggling all the things that we have to get done in addition to exercise with the availability of the hardware and making sure that the space is free and available uh, for us to work. But a typical day can involve uh, maybe a big scientific day where we're doing lots of different uh, scientific experiments. It might be uh, a repair day where we're fixing hardware. Um, in general, we don't typically work together on things because we're each individually working on different experiments or different projects. Um, so the day, the fun part of the day is actually when we get together for the meals and get a chance to spend a little time together and talk about the funny thing that happened to us. <laughs> That's awesome. So how many people are up there with you guys right now? So we have a crew of six, which is the normal crew complement up here. There's two groups of three uh, because of the Russian vehicles that we fly up and down on only hold three people. So uh, I came up with two Russians and Peggy came up with a Russian and a French astronaut. Do you guys talk about politics up there? Luckily, no. Yeah, luckily, no. That's a great answer. <laughs> I wish I was up there with you then. <laughs> so um, as I understand it, um, Peggy, you're going to be breaking a record soon. Talk a little bit about that and, and just your your career. Well, I think the important thing about breaking records uh, is not the fact that I, I, I'm the one that's breaking the record. It's the fact that we are still breaking records. Every day in spaceflight, we're breaking a record of a human presence in space. We're over 17 years now. Each day, we're breaking records. And as long as we continue to break records, uh, I think that's really important. So it's great to break a record, but it's, it's even better that the record is broken again, that we are continuing to progress and push the frontier. And Shane, as I understand it, the, you're wrapping up your time out there. How long is a typical trip? Uh, what was your, yours is about five months, as I understand it. And how long are other people up there for? So in general, we're up here about six months. And mine will be, I think, five months and three weeks, the way it ends up. And uh, so, But in general, we're up here for six months at a time. I've been up here, I think, four months tomorrow, and uh, Peggy will have been up here about three months tomorrow, and uh, i got a couple more to go. So there's kind of a lot of traffic going back and forth. I mean, three months, you, she came up three months ago. I mean, how do you get back and forth? I know NASA's program is um, sharing resources with Russia, right? Yes, uh, so right now we're currently using the Russian uh, spacecraft to launch uh, to the space station and return us safely home. However, all of our cargo vehicles are, are 
we have two different cargo suppliers that are commercial in the United States, SpaceX and Orbital ATK. Uh, and then we also have a Japanese carriers that bring up cargo and European carriers that brought up cargo and, pro and Russian progress vehicles that bring up cargo. And in, a, in another year and a half or so, we're hoping that we're going to have commercial crew capability provided by uh, commercial uh, vendors in the United States so that we'll be able to bring up crew on board U.S. vehicles as well. So that'll actually be a step up. And one of the EVAs we're planning later, hopefully this month or next, uh, will be uh, to move the one of the pressurized mating adapters. It's a docking port that'll be used for those uh, commercial partners in the future. So we're, we're definitely looking forward to the, the time when uh, crew members will be launching from U.S. soil as well. And I don't know if you guys follow what's happening here or what's happening in your industry, but tomorrow SpaceX is going to be launching a rocket um, in, into space, and they're talking about what's going to happen with that. And I don't know if you, you know, follow what SpaceX is doing and Elon Musk and a lot of hype down here about the mission to, to Mars and what year that's going to happen and things like that. I mean, this is this kind of thing that we're, it's huge right now. We're talking about it all the time. Well, that's encouraging. That's great news to hear. Of course, we are following SpaceX very closely because that vehicle is launching tomorrow and it shows up here on Monday. And uh, Thomas Pesquet, the French astronaut, is going to use the Canadian robotic arm and he's going to grab it and then attach it to the space station. So it's going to have a lot of experiments for us, a lot of clothing and food and other supplies as well. So we're really looking forward to uh, getting SpaceX 10 on board. Awesome. Well, keep up the good work up there. I have never done an interview with people on the International Space Station, and it's really quite an honor to be able to talk to you. It's, it's very cool, and uh, we miss you guys down here, and get back safely. Thanks a lot, Allison. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much for making this happen. We really appreciate it. This has been great. We really enjoyed it. Have a great weekend. I give you guys a 10. <laughs> Station, this is Houston ACR. Thank you. That concludes the event. Thank you to all participants with Fox News Edge. Station, please stand by while we reconfigure video and audio communications.